thousands of civil servants took to Parliament Hill for the biggest rally yet. After days of negotiations, the two sides can't agree on wages. They still have 9% on the table over three years. And they're telling us, they're telling us that we have to move. That's not how bargaining works. Both sides are still at the negotiation table, but the tone has shifted from signs of optimism yesterday to this. Well, I'm uh, actually frustrated this morning. The union says it has come down from its initial demand, a 13.5% increase over three years, though it won't say by how much. On CBC's Power and Politics, the government says its offer of 9% over three years is about as high as it will go. I don't have anything really much to maneuver with anymore. It's, it's pretty much the ceiling that I have. Oral questions. Now calls from the union and the opposition for the prime minister to get involved. Start spreading the news. He was criticized for taking a work trip to New York. He wants to be a part of it. New York, New York. <laughs> Will he cancel his trip and negotiate a fair contract for these workers? Here I do find it a little odd that I'm having to explain to a member of the NDP how collective bargaining works, but sometimes it takes time. Both sides seem far apart and the workers have been picketing for more than a week, but the people here say that they're in it for the long haul. I do wish that we were understood and supported as public servants because we supported everyone during all of COVID. I think today it's stronger than ever and that's what keeps me, uh, gives me hope, it keeps me uh, feeling okay. There also appears to be no movement on another demand, clear rules around the right to work from home. It's another roadblock to getting a deal done. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa.